So welcome to a early start on a Saturday. The time is eight o'clock and I'm en route to SB Race Engineering. The UK has certainly got a chill about its morning weather now. Even though it says it's 10 degrees, it feels like it's two degrees. And I'm bringing back the Eskimo coat because <laughs> it is freezing. But Barry is determined to get this engine out. And he's been there for about 15 to 20 minutes already getting set up. I think yesterday he left the car in the state so that the engine was ready to pull out. So I'm going to be at SB for a couple of hours this morning just filming and documenting the process for the vlog of the 5.2 litre V10 coming out of my car. I was not expecting a month into owning my dream car that the engine would be coming out so soon but it's exciting what are you doing for now? just getting up close ups hashtag whips and chains <laughs> <coughs> hashtag that's what we're doing well, that's getting left in there There it is. So let's have an update. I'm so excited now. The engine is out. One of the headers, the right hand side of the engine, the headers and the decap pipe are now on the car. What a huge project and SB, both Barry and Stuart, absolutely smashed it. Got the engine out very seamlessly, um, as you would have seen from the footage. And um, now Barry's working his way on changing the other header and the decap pipe. Since posting the picture of me looking down into the engine bay, there's been a few questions on that post already that I feel like I should probably answer. One of them being, does the Army Tricks exhaust always require the engine out? Um, no, because of the headers and the decap pipes that are very inaccessible in that particular car, the same as the Audi R8, which is why on the R8 I only had the back box, which attaches to the catalytic converters, which is then um, to the uh, headers. 
So on my RA, it was simply taking off the back box and putting a new one back on, which is which only takes a day and can be as quick as six to seven hours. Um, whereas this is obviously taking three to four days. So this is a huge project. The engine, uh, the exhaust, the engine has to come out because the full exhaust system is being changed. And the second one is, is it void in the warranty? If it was a brand new car, then it might probably um, be a little bit iffy if we were gonna take the engine out on a brand new car. But because it's out of warranty, it's a 2011 car, you can pay for the extended warranty in the Lamborghini. But because I knew that this was happening to my exhaust system and if I paid for the warranty, then I probably would have avoided it by doing what I'm doing now with the exhaust system. That basically, there was no point in me having the Lamborghini warranty because I knew that I wasn't gonna be covered on the work that is happening here. But SB and Army Tricks, of course, are warranting the work and the exhaust system and the product. So in that sense, I'm creating a warranty. <laughs> I suppose is the best way of answering that question. So let's head back in, check out how Barry's getting on. We're only doing the headers and decap pipes today. Then Barry is gonna get the engine back in on Monday and the rest of the car is gonna get put back together with the new back box. So this is when the fun begins. We're about halfway through the Army Tricks project and I feel like it has been going forever, as does Barry probably. Let's head back inside, check out how he's doing. Oh, the second one is off. So as you can see here, this is where the headers fit. The decap pipes are usually around here. As you can see here, these are the new army tricks. Decap pipes and headers, ceramic coated, like race cars, like Zondas, and these are the old headers. turning my car into a climbing frame. So the day is done. Day two of the Armatrix project is complete. And it didn't take as long as myself, nor Barry, 
North Stewart or anyone at SB thought that it was going to take. That was really, really slick and successful. The new headers fit on perfectly. The decap pipes are on. The engine is back in. And I think it took around three, three and a half hours to bring the engine out, fit the uh, headers and decap pipe, and then put it back on. So, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the build quality of the Army Trick system. I'm impressed, obviously, with the skill that is involved in taking out a bloody 5.2 litre V10 engine from a Lamborghini, but they, I mean, they're used to it up at SB. They do that for a living. So there's not for one second that I was nervous about anything to do with the process of fitting this Army Trick's exhaust system. I've seen them fit exhaust systems, and because exhaust systems don't usually require the engine to come out, it's obviously a little bit different and a bigger project, but one that SB are just getting their hands involved in and they are loving it. There is an ambulance. Yeah. I'm going to sign off now and um, I just can't wait. I'm itching to get this project finished so that I can just hear it. I just want to hear it. I've never ever heard a car with a, I've never heard a Gallardo with a full system. Personally, I've never heard one personally. I've heard it on YouTube, but never does it justice. So, fingers crossed, we can at least hear it on Monday. So, I will see you tomorrow for another Army Tricks, Army Tricks project video. Army Tricks project video. Cheers, guys. It's coming. Oh, it looks so good on the road. <laughs> Look how good it looks. Oh, yes.